looking in your eyes I know that all I need is by my side When everything is wrong, you make it right The only one who brings me back to life I've been trying to look for all of these things to hold on to But oh, I'm finding better days with you Hold on to me tight as we dive into the Ben, when I asked you what you love about Maggie, you answered with no hesitation. You love that you can make her laugh. It is important to you that your senses of humor align. You said you also admire Maggie's compassion. You see this demonstrated day in and day out with her job in healthcare. You said Maggie will go the extra mile for her patients, and this holds true to her friends and loved ones as well. Lastly, you love Maggie because of the mutual support the two of you have for one another. She has never made you feel uncomfortable about anything and loves you just as you are. Maggie, when I asked you what you love about Ben, you also mentioned humor. You love how funny Ben is and he makes you laugh a lot. You appreciate Ben's work ethic and how considerate Ben is. Ben always puts others before himself. This is often demonstrated in his relationships, not only with you, but how close he is with his own family and how well he gets along with yours. Lastly, you love that you know each other so well. You said the two of you grew up together, attending college and finding your first jobs, and the two of you have come into your own together. And love, as we promised long ago, ago. Our, our past and future are a circle unbroken, much, much like this ring with which we renew, renew our pledge to one, one another of never-ending devotion. Maggie was born February 14, 1992. Little, little hospital. I go, where are all your roses? She looked at me, are you crazy? We sold out of those things hours ago. I'm like, are you kidding me? I go, my wife and my new daughter's upstairs and it's Valentine's Day. She goes, all I got left is one silk rose. Of course, I bought this silk rose. Brought it upstairs. He goes give it to Mac. Back years ago, here we are again. Margaret, you have always been and always be my Maggie Rose. <laughs>